The traditional pumpkin patch is looking a little different this year, with hayrides and apple cider being traded in for masks and social distancing. Washington State University's Agert Family Organic Farm is open for pumpkin picking Fridays and Saturdays at their lot behind the WSU Bear Center until mid-October. And they were really friendly. They helped us out to give us a good deal on our pumpkins. The farm had to cancel their annual fall harvest festival due to COVID-19, but the patch remains open with health guidelines in place. The thing that's different this year is that we normally do a big one day kind of a fall festival event at the beginning of October and we canceled that due to COVID and um, have pivoted to this smaller scheduled UPIC model where we're only letting 10 folks at a time into the field um, on Fridays and Saturdays for the next two weeks. The farm is requiring guests schedule their visit online through Eventbrite tickets. According to the WSU Organic Farm Newsletter, guests must sign up for 15-minute time slots and can register up to 10 people. All tickets are free. Jekyll says in addition to compliance with CDC guidelines, the farm is requiring all workers take the WSU attestation, confirming they have no symptoms and have not been in contact with anyone who has tested positive. It was different. Uh, you know, there wasn't a bunch of people around. There weren't other kids, family. It was just yourself, all wearing masks, picking out pumpkins. Jekyll says the last scheduled you pick will be Saturday the 17th. Any remaining pumpkins will be harvested and then sold on the farm's website and to various vendors. The 30-acre farm has been in operation for seven years, selling fruits and vegetables to local vendors including the Moscow Food Co-op, local restaurants, the farmer's market, and local food banks. Along with the pumpkin patch, the farm will continue to host weekly produce sales every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. The produce stand is offering a variety of veggies such as pea shoots, potatoes, onions, and shallots.